Hi, welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we are going to be starting our lessons on Chapter 7 in the Blue Book. To complete this lesson, you will need this page from your textbook, page 55. You do not need to print this one. This page, page 56. You do not need to print this one. And this page, page 41 of the activity book. This one you do need to print, okay? As always, you can find them in the description of the YouTube video. So, chapter 7 deals a lot more with where questions. We're going to talk about where something is. In particular, where if something is next to something, or across from something, or between one thing and one other things. Words like next to and across from, those are what are called prepositions in the technical terms. So we're going to be talking about where things are, and we're also going to be talking a little bit about shopping, about where we go to buy things. So like every uh, chapter, we begin with some vocabulary that we are going to use again in the chapter. So let's go over our vocabulary, make sure we know all these words. We're going to be using these words in the chapter, so make sure you know them. Make sure you know what they mean, and make sure you can spell them, because we do a lot of writing, okay? Number one, bakery. Bakery is a store where they bake things. So that's like bread, cake, cookies. Things like that you can get at a bakery. Barbershop, barbershop where they cut our hair. Boy, I miss barbershops. My hair looks terrible. Because I can't get a barbershop because of the quarantine, because they're all closed. Number three, bookstore. Number four, bus station. It's where you get on the bus. Number five, cafeteria. Cafeteria is a, it's a pretty big room, normally, where they have food that's already cooked and you pick what food you want, usually on a tray. So you have a cafeteria at school, okay? That's where you eat at school, a cafeteria. It's a little different than a restaurant. At a restaurant, uh, you sit down at a table, and uh, they come and give you food. The cafeteria, the food's just there, and you pick some up and then go pay for it. Um, but it's close. It's close to a restaurant. Anyway, cafeteria is what you have at school, okay? It's also called the lunchroom at school. Number six, clinic. Clinic is a place where you can get doctors and medical care, okay? Kind of like a hospital, but a hospital is bigger, more elaborate, okay? But it's, it's where there are doctors. Seven, department store. Department store is those big stores where there's lots of different things that they sell in the store, okay? It's almost like a, like a mall, except it's all one store. Eight, drugstore. So drugstore is usually where you can go to get medicine, uh, and a lot of times they sell a lot of other things too. So you see Walgreens, Bartels, uh, CVS, those are all drugstores. Hair salon. Hair salon's very similar to a barber shop, but it's usually more expensive, and they style your hair. They make your hair look pretty at a hair salon, whereas a barber shop, they just cut it. Uh, generally speaking, hair salons, you have more women. Barber shops, you have more men. Number 10, health club. Health club, also known as a gym, where people go to exercise. I also really miss the health clubs uh, or the gyms. I, I have not gotten any good exercise since this started. I know I should ride my bike, but it was just so much easier to go to the health club. But whatever. Eleven. Hotel. Okay. You know hotel? That's like, uh, you know, they have beds there, and you pay them to stay and sleep in the bed for a few nights. Okay? It's like if you're visiting a new city where you don't live, and you don't have a home there, you can get a room in a hotel and sleep in the hotel. Okay. Twelve. Laundromat. Laundromat. We've had this one for a while. This is not a new word. Laundromat. That's where people go to do their laundry. 
If you don't have a washing machine and a dryer in your house, you have to drive to a laundromat and do your laundry there, wash your clothes there. Okay, 13, school. You know school. 14, train station, like bus station. It's where you get on the train. 15, video store. This shows you how old this book is. We don't really have video stores much anymore, but we used to. We used to go and rent videos and DVDs uh, at, like, Blockbuster. Um, but you don't need to worry about that. All right, that's your vocab. That took us a while. Let's do some activities, okay? Go to page 56 of your textbook. And here we're talking about where's the restaurant. Where's the restaurant? And here we're going to start using some prepositions, talking about where something is in relation to something else. I'll give you some examples. Okay, Number one. Where's the restaurant? It's next to the bank. So see this? Is our, this is our really big vocab word we're learning in this example. Next to. Here's the restaurant. Here's the bank. Where's the restaurant? It's next to the bank. So if you have two things like that, that's next to, okay? Where's the supermarket? It's across from the movie theater. See? So there's a street between them. Across from. This is not next to. It's different. It's across from. The supermarket is across from the movie theater. The restaurant is next to the bank. Okay? I hope you're paying attention because we're going to be doing a lot with these ideas. Next, where's the school? It's between the library and the park. So that's between. You have two things and another in the middle. Okay? Library and park, school. The school is between these two things. Okay? Between. Remember that word between. We're going to use it a lot. And last, where's the post office? Post office. It's around the corner from the hospital. Hospital. So see, if you're on a street, you get to this, this is the corner. You go around the corner, get to the post office. That's around the corner. So that's four ways to talk about where a store is. Okay? You with me? Good, because it's time for some writing. We've gone on long enough. So number one, you'll need a separate sheet of paper. I always forget to say that. I'm sorry. You should just kind of always know you need paper. I mean, that's just, that's just uh, part of Mr. Menta's ELL classroom. You need paper. Okay? So, get a sheet of paper now, if you don't have one already, and we've got this. Where's the bank? Here's the bank. Here's the school. What do we say? It's next to the school. Okay? Get it? Remember next to? So that's what you should write. Number one, it's next to the school. Period. Number two, where's the post office? I'll tell you, it's not next to, right? This is something different. So where is it? You're going to use these four things to answer the questions. Everything's going to be next to, across from, between, or around the corner from. Those are your answers. you got to look at the pictures and decide which one to use. Okay? You understand? All right, then. It is time for you to pause the video and write the answers on your separate sheet of paper. Okay? Remember, this is the most important part of the lesson. If you've gotten this far in the video and you watch the video, you please pause the video and write the answers on a sheet of paper. So important to write. You're not really going to learn very much if you just watch. You will learn so much more if you pause and write, okay?
So, pause and write. Write the answers. I'll wait. All right, did you pause and write the answers? Let's go over them. Where's the post office? It's across from the park. Across from. Number three. Where's the restaurant? It's between the bank and the library. It's between the bank and the library. Number four. Where's the hospital? It's around the corner from the movie theater. It's around the corner from the movie theater. Number five. Where's the hotel? It's across from the library. It's across from the library. Number six, where's the gas station? It's next to the bus station. Next to. Number seven, where's the clinic? It's uh, around the corner from the fire station. It's around the corner from the fire station. Remember to say from. Around the corner from. Then number eight. Where's the bakery? It's between the video store and the barbershop. Between. Okay? All right. Let's go on to the last part of this video. This is page 41. And this is reviewing the same thing we've just done. Okay? But now we're going to look at a map. Okay? So we got a map here. We can see everything here. And our answers are going to be across from, around the corner from, next to, and between. And here you can see what they all are. So number one, the bank is, here's the bank, next to the restaurant. Here's the restaurant. So we look at that, and then we find the answer. Let's talk about number two. Okay? The bus station is blank the fire station. So where's the bus station? Where's the fire station? Here's the bus station. Here's the fire station. So the bus station is blank the fire station. Here they are. Which one of these words describes it? Across from, around the corner from, next to, or between? All right? Write down all the answers. And then come back to me. So this is your time to pause the video and do the work. Okay? Did you pause the video and do the work? Good. I'm proud of you. All right. <coughs> so, in order to answer these, I'm going to have to be able to see this sheet. So we'll see what we get to. So the bus station is across from the fire station. Across from. Number three. The library is between the movie theater and the barbershop. Between. Okay. Number four. The laundromat. There it is. Laundromat is next to the video store. Or maybe around the corner from, I guess because we're saying it's on this street here and the video store is on this street here. So let's go with around the corner from. But I could understand if you put next to. But it doesn't look like the laundromat really has a door on this street. You know, if you get out of the video store, you walk down the street, you round the corner, and then you get to the door of the laundromat. So around the corner, around the corner. Number five, again the laundromat. Here we go. The laundromat is next to the clinic. 
Yeah, we definitely don't want next to uh, for the video store. We have, we're next to the clinic. So I'm glad we caught that. Number six, the clinic is between the laundromat and the gas station. Between. Right. Oh dear. Number seven. The clinic and the gas station are blank the hotel. I'm going to have to go with across from. Across from the hotel. See how we have a street between them? Number eight. The barber shop. Is where's the barber shop? Okay, there's the barber shop. Okay, blank the post office. Where's the barber shop in relation to the post office? Okay, barber shop. So the barber shop is around the corner from the post office. Around the corner. Number eight, around the corner. Number nine, the restaurant is blank the supermarket. Here's the restaurant. Definitely next to the restaurant is next to the supermarket. And ten, the school is, there's the school, the school is between the supermarket and the hotel. Between. Okay, good job. That was a long video. I'm proud of you for getting through it. Uh, take a break, and then I'll see you at the next video, maybe tomorrow.